Hello everyone. Today we are um, with Marie and Marie is originally from IT, right? Yes. And uh, she lives in the US and she's a mom, she's an advocate. And before we start, I'm going to let Marie introduce herself. Uh, so go ahead, Marie. Hi, my name is Marie. I am an autism mom. Um, I'm an occupational therapist and um, my son is five years old and he is um, on the spectrum. Awesome. And um, Marie, how did you um, receive the diagnosis of your child? I mean, what was the reaction um, around you, your family, your friends? Uh, how did it go? Um, well, at a, at a very uh, young age, I suspected um, that the diagnosis was going to be autism because some of the early signs were there. Um, but, and, and because too, as a therapist, I've worked with kids with autism and I saw the signs and I, I was seeing them in my son. As a therapist, I knew um, what the diagnosis was going to be. But as a mom, I was, I was in denial of um, what the diagnosis was going to be. But eventually, um, we were able to get the diagnosis at the age of two years old. And um, we explained to uh, our extended family that, um, uh, um, that our son was, um, was on the spectrum. And a lot of them had an idea about what that what what that means and a lot of them did not know um what the uh, what the disorder was okay and um how about you know cultural acceptance how do you feel that culturally people in your community react to diagnosis of autism um coming from uh haiti um, I've heard with, with, uh, either, uh, friends and, um, old, the older generation, parents and aunts and, and, uh, and, uh, grandparents, um, I used to hear a lot where they said, oh, this is, it's a phase, um, he'll grow out of it, it's, it's not a problem, and from the ones that were religious, I would hear things such as, um, maybe you and your husband did something or maybe you did something maybe 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 it's persecution you're you're being persecuted for something and i've wow. had friends that that talked about how they went as far to say that they were cursed and this is why that their child has autism um another challenge that i face a lot is um critical the criticism about my parenting skills um when you have a child on the spectrum you you have a specific way of parenting them that is a bit atypical from the norm so people who do not understand the the kind of technique that you're using the kind of training that you you're doing with your child to kind of fit his need in order for him to give you the kind of response that you're looking for, they look at the techniques and things that you're doing as bad parenting skills, but it's really not. And it's hard to try to make people understand that I'm not being a, a bad parent. My child is not having a tantrum or a meltdown because I, I, I don't know how to discipline him, but it's, 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 it's maybe because it's the environment that he's in. Maybe the, the, there are too many, things that are the you know around that just kind of make him you know just not in his normal daily self you mm -hmm. know but mm -hmm. it, it's 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 still a challenge there's still a lot of education that needs to be done for people to truly understand um that parents they're they're struggling and they don't need you to criticize their parenting skills but they they more so support that they're looking for. And um, so far, what have you tried with your son that you think um, work for you? What techniques uh, have you used? Um, 
with I know with a lot of kids on the spectrum, they are visual learners. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, with with my son, um, not just visual. Um, I use a lot of visual, but he's also very sensory seeking. So he's all sensory and he has an interest in music. So when I'm trying to teach him something, I try to incorporate all of these things in, at once in order for me to really get him to um, understand what I'm trying to teach him and, and, and make sure that um, uh, we get the success that I'm looking for. So definitely parents have to um, know their child well, know what their interests um, are and combine it with what if whatever it is that they're trying to teach them they'll get more of a they'll get a better response from the child when it's uh, it's focused on their main interests and not what the parent um, think is best i'm going to ask you a little bit about um autism in it uh how is it um diagnosed how do you guys have services there and what are the challenges on site um, well, as, as, as a lot of people already know, um, uh, Haiti is a, is a, is a country that struggles a lot and, um, it is a, an underdeveloped country. Therefore, there are certain, um, diagnosis that goes undiagnosed. Um, so it, it, the autism disorder is something that is still fairly, I believe is something that is still fairly new. And um, it, it and it because of the lack of education, and also um, people's sometimes religious belief, they tend to um, not not really um, believe in the disorder and want to kind of seek um, um, for the child to be diagnosed. And even with um, the diagnosis itself, mm -hmm. I imagine that it's, it's the ones who are educated and, and have um, money that would seek for that kind of um, diagnosis and, and professional help because these things, they do cost money. And a majority of a lot of the people, they don't have the money. And a lot of them believe that it's because there's some some type of supernatural thing that is happening to the child or it's being done by some mystery thing. Um, but it's not really recognized as a disorder. So in, 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 that, in that aspect, we are still um, a country that is working on bringing more awareness to the disorder and trying to get more uh, professionals involved and, 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 um, pin and locating some of the children who are, um, who seems to be on the spectrum and finding, finding the, the right help for them. So it's, it, 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 it's a work in progress to say the least. It's, it's, we're not there yet, um, but it's definitely a work in progress. Okay, awesome. So um, do you guys have, um, I mean, OT speech available there? Even the therapy field in Haiti, it, I, I think it's very minor. I think it's okay. very limited, it's very minor. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think there are that many services, although there are people that are um, starting to open up little clinics here and there and trying to bring awareness to, to, to the different communities. But we truly do need um, a lot more education um, and a lot more uh, therapy professionals in that field to focus okay. on that. Okay, definitely. Um, so last question, uh, what advice do you have for parents in your community in I mean, everywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I want parents to um, know that it's going to take a lot of patience, especially the ones who probably just got a diagnosis and don't even know where to start, what to do, what this means. Um, it's going to take a lot of patience. It's going to take a lot of flexibility, a lot of planning. Um, you are the expert um, of your child. Don't be intim intimidated by other professionals that are um, that are out there. 
uh, make sure your voice is heard and what you feel that your child needs to work on, you need to voice that so that um, they are being worked on. Um, focus on your child's interests because sometimes those interests becomes their strengths and they become things that they truly excel in. Um, and really capitalize on those, those strengths that you see and use those strengths and use those interests when, you, when, um, when you're dealing with your child to get them to do what they need to do and succeed. So it's, it's definitely, it's a long journey. There will be sad days, there will be happy days and, and there will be tears, but being consistent, having a routine and really believing in your, in your, believing in your child, do not set the bar low, always have high expectations because trust me, your child can surprise you and will mm -hmm. surprise you. Mm -hmm. So things will get better. It will yeah. get better. Yeah, definitely. I second that. Yeah. Higher expectations. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Marie. Thank you for your time. And thank you, Fabi, for having me. All right. Well, thank you, Marie. I'm going to. You're welcome.